Hello guys, this is YRPRC, Yorkshire RC Playground, bringing you another review. Uh, and today it's on the uh, FTX Mauler. I picked this up from Dima Models in Wakefield. Um, for one, I think it was 169 or 179. Uh, quite like the look of it. I think it's, it looks a bit like um, a rock racer type. Um, a bit like the Axial Wraith. Uh, and it's got that kind of body to it. I think it looks cracking. Um, I don't. I've never. I've never actually looked in the box. This is the first time um, opening the box. I thought I'd do it with you guys. See what it's like. See what my thoughts are. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll be giving it a test run, and that will be going up live as well. So let's get it cracking. Just modified my camera angle so you can actually see inside the box. Right, well that's a little bit better. Um, I've had a look on YouTube to find any more reviews, uh, any test runs, but there's nothing that actually shows how good it actually is. Um, and I thought, you know what, let's just have a go. Let's pick one up. So let's just remove this. <sighs> Right, this is actually quite a big crawler. Um, I think it's got 2.2 inch wheels. It's bigger than the average 110 scale uh, truck. Uh, well, it looks pretty good from now. Let's just take it out of the box. We'll get onto the good stuff in a minute. Let's get all the boring stuff out of the way. So we've just got the uh, instruction manual, and all your part numbers in there. They're giving you a little bind plug, um, some extra decals, stickers, whatever you want to call them. You've got a mains charger, so it does come ready to run. Uh, all you need, I think, is four double A's for the transmitter. Uh, but it does have the 7.2 volt installed in the truck. I won't be using that, by the way. It's it's, it's for someone who's actually just getting into the hobby, I guess. Uh, and here's a 2.4 radio. It's exactly the same as my Outback one. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not it's not too, like, flimsy or all. It's quite solidly made. It feels okay in the hand. Um, you've got your steering trims and your dual rates as well. So it's pretty good. It does the job anyway. Let's get the box out of the way. Right, so here we have the truck. The wheels are massive. Set the camera angle up a little bit better so you can actually see it from down below. So here's the FTX Mauler. Uh, I must say, first impressions, it looks it looks great. Um, the body shell looks really nice. It's it's not the usual type stuff. It's got the roll cage. It's got a nice little figure in there it's quite well detailed if I can just kind of there we go it's quite detailed in there as well there's two little little men uh, it does have working LED lights I believe at the front uh, which is good it can't be can't go wrong with working lights, can you, on an RC? Uh, you've got your 9kg servo. I'm not sure if it's Metal Gear or not, but it's 9kg. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. And overall, I can just get it. There we go. Overall, I think it looks pretty good. I mean... I mean, obviously, I don't know how it's going to perform. It's not going to perform as good as an Axial Rave, so let's just get that out of the way. Uh, but from looks-wise, it looks pretty well. I think you've got enough articulation on there. One thing I do like about this crawler is that it's quite sleek-looking as well. It's not, like, really high up and wide and whatnot it's quite low down um and it just uses these big wheels to get over everything 
Uh, let, let's just get the body off and see what it looks inside and what electronics we get. If I can get this thing off. Right, so the body just swivels on here. It's got a little hinge there. Let's have a look inside. So you've got your all-in-one, two-in-one type um, receiver and ESE. It does, yeah, it does have lipo cut off and it's waterproof. Yeah, let's just the the full truck is actually waterproof. Uh, and this is just your two in one unit. Your battery is fitted right on the front uh, for well for better weight distribution on the crawler. You always want most of the weight at the front of the vehicle. And it is it is a two thousand milliamp battery. And on this side, and on this side we have the. Uh, the 540 size motor. At least it's a 540. When I bought the Outback, I actually didn't know, and it came with a little two, 280 size motor, um, and it burnt out in literally, well, I think I ran two packs through it on LiPo, and it burnt it out. Uh, I have I have now converted it, so it's got a 540 in it, so check that video out as well if you've got an Outback and you want to see how uh, I made it into a 540. Uh, size vehicle and it's, it's a lot better uh, overall there's not really much to say about this uh, it's just just a crawler it's got lock diffs front and rear um, these tires I don't know the, the tires itself feel quite grippy but the inserts seem a little bit too hard I think I think the inserts are too hard uh, but the actual tires seem okay uh, but we'll see how they pan out You've got preload clips for the shocks. Um, if you want to adjust them, normally on a crawler you have more preload at the back just to help you over larger obstacles. Just get this body back on. It's quite tricky this, to be fair. There must be a knack to it. There we go, front on first, then the rear, and it'll, it'll go straight on. Uh, there's not much else to really say about the truck, I guess. It's just a, a crawling truck. Could point out that the um, the outputs are actually metal, uh, which is good. The diffs inside are also metal, uh, which is good. Well, that's about it for the uh, FTX Mauler. I don't think there's anything else to really say about it. Uh, the wheels are not bead locked, and these little screws in there are not doing anything, just little fake screws that are actually screwed into the wheel. Uh, but it does give it a nice little touch. Um, the overall crawler, I mean, it looks, looks fairly good, but we don't know how it's going to perform until I actually try it. Uh, I will try it box stock first, and then I will put a lipo in it and see the difference. Um, I, I mainly run, I mainly run all of my vehicles on the lipo. I don't really run NIMH no more. Um. Right, guys, that's it from me. Um, this is my review and unboxing of the FTX Mauler. There will be a, a test run video of it as well, so go check that out. That will be uploaded at the same time this is out as well. Uh, and you can see how it performs, and I will, and I will just say how I thought it performed, and any upgrades that need to be done. Anyway, thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and comment, uh, and I'll catch you all guys soon.